divide into 73 sects. All of them into the hellfire except for one. Except for one. So the companion said, وَمَا هِيَ تِلْقَ الْفِرْقَ What is this saved sect? What is this one sect that is saved? So the Prophet ﷺ said in a narration, مَا أَنَا أَلَيْهِ الْيَوْمُ وَأَسْحَابِي That which I and my companions are upon today. That which I and my companions are upon today. That is the way of success. That is the way of salvation. The, so the question that arises from this, the question that arises from this, that was it something that was confusing to the companions as to what was the saved sect? The answer is no. Because the companions knew the paths of success, the path of salvation, and the 72 sects or the, or the other paths of misguidance and deviation. The companions were not deluded, nor beguiled, nor, did, nor were they from those individuals who fell into bid'ah. It is not permissible in any way, form or matter to ascribe innovation to the companions, to say that the companions fell into or they were people of bid'ah or were ahlul bid'ah. None of the companions. In fact, when Abdullah ibn Abbas radiallahu anhu, when he went to the Khawarij, when he went to that deviated sect that rebelled against Ali radiallahu anhu, and they revolted against Ali, and that sect is present today in the form of the terrorists and the renegades and those who revolt against the Muslim rulers, same sect, but with a different name, and speaking in our times in the manner that they speak with regard to terrorist activities. But those khawarij that Abdullah ibn Abbas went to, and he went to them to correct them and to advise them and to bring them to the truth, what did he say to them? He said, I've come from a group of people amongst whom the revelation was sent down, the companions of Allah's Messenger sallallahu and I do not see a single one of them amongst you. And at that time, the khawarij who separated from the rule of Ali, and they wanted to fight Ali, and they declared Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu to be, an, to be an unbeliever. That those khawarij numbered 20,000. Not one companion was seen amongst them. The companions were not people of deviation. You look at the first hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, or the first hadith of one in Sahih Muslim. The hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar. In this hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar, a group of people come to him. And they mention to him about a sect that has appeared, who denied the pre-decree of Allah, i.e. the Qadariyyah. Who they denied the pre-decree of Allah. So Abdullah ibn Umar, what did he say? He said, tell them, inform them, that Abdullah ibn Umar is free of them, and they are free of him. This was the jealousy of the companions of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam, with regard to deviation, and with regard to the sunnah. That they loved the sunnah, and that they hated deviation. And they would not tolerate it. And this is the thing that united the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. So that which the companions were upon, that which the Prophet sallallahu were upon upon that day, then that is the saved sect. And that is the saved way. In fact, in a narration, the Prophet sallallahu said that my ummah will divide into 73 sects, all of them into the hellfire except for one, wahi al-jama'ah. And that is the jama'ah. So the jama'ah, ya ikhwan, the jama'ah, ya akhawat, is none other than that which the companions of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam were upon. That is the jama'ah. That is the jama'ah that, that we recognize to be the jama'ah that is saved. And anyone who follows their way, then he is the jama'ah. والسابقون الأولون من المهاجرين والأنصار والذين اتبعوهم بإحسان رضي الله عنهم وردوا عن that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned that the first and foremost to, to embrace Islam from the Muhajireen and from the Ansar, from those who migrated from Mecca to Medina, and those companions that were already resident, resident in Medina. What does Allah say? And then those who follow them in goodness. Then Allah is pleased with them, and they are pleased with Him. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says with regard to the Muhajireen and the Ansar, the companions. And then those who follow them. The great scholar Abdul Rahman ibn Sa'di rahimahullah ta'ala mentions with regard to these people that Allah, that he mentions 
and they are the people who follow the way of the companions of Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they are Ahlu Sunnah Wal Jama'ah why? because they follow the Sunnah of Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they adhere to the Jama'ah of the companions of Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam so we say Ya Ikhwan that theirs is the path to be followed the path of the Sahaba even if you are small in number or whether you are great in number irrelevant the path does not change the way does not change if you if you have been commanded to stick to the Sunnah if you have been commanded to follow the way of the Sahaba as you have been in all of those narrations that are brought today and yesterday and in all of those narrations that I haven't mentioned that indicate and clearly show that we have been commanded to follow the Messenger of Allah to obey him and to obey the way or to follow the way of the companions of Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam whether you are great in number or whether you are small in number the hadith that I mentioned at the beginning where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that indeed or Islam began as something strange and it will return as it began as something strange فَثُوبَ لِلْغُرَبَا So glad tidings of Jannah or a tree in Jannah be to the strangers. The strangers, ya ikhwan, are few in number. That's why they are strange. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he came, he brought to the people that which was strange to them. And that which the people of Hadith, the people of Salafiyyah, the people of Sunnah, in every age and every era, especially in the time that we bring in that, that we are living in today then they are seen as the strangers and their characteristics in accordance to the hadith are also strange yuslihun that they are the ones who rectify in the fasad in nas in the presence of the corruption of the people these are who these are people of hadith when they see a bid'ah they say this is a bid'ah when they see the people going off the rails they tell them you are going off the rails when they see the people corrupted in their aqeedah, corrupted in their belief, corrupted in their manhaj, corrupted in their fundamentals of the deen, that they inform them and they rectify them and they correct them, and they continue to do this. So they are the ones who rectify. They are the ones who correct. They are the ones who do not fear the blame of the blamers. They are not from those individuals. Rather, they are individuals who stand like the a'imma stand. There are people who follow the example of the Imams of the Sunnah of this time and, of, as of, and also of previous times. So they take their examples from the Imams of guidance. The likes of Abdul Aziz ibn Ubaz, the likes of Sheikh Muhammad Nasruddin al Albani, the likes of Muhammad bin Salih al Uthaymeen, the likes of Sheikh al Fawzan, the likes of Muqmil bin Hadi al Wadi'i, the likes of Rabi bin Hadi al Madkhali, the likes of Ahmad al Najmi and Ubaid al Jabari. The likes of Abdul Muhsin al Abbad, the likes of Zayd al Madkhali, Abdullah al Ghudayan, Abdul Aziz al Sheikh, and that they connect themselves and their brothers from Ahlul Sunnah and their brothers from the Muslimin to the A'imma of Al Islam who base their religion upon the guidance of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, that they do not make taqlid of any singular individual to the exclusion of others. That they do not call the people to say, follow this Imam and leave all of the other Imams. This is not from the way of Ahlul Sunnah. This is not from the methodology of Ahlul Hadith. Imam al Barbahari rahimahullah ta'ala mentions that he who limits himself to the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa and that which his companions and the Jama'ah were upon is successful. And he triumphs over all the people of innovation and he is saved and his religion is preserved this is how a person saves himself so whether you are few in number stick to the sunnah and to the jama'ah of the companions and you will be the jama'ah that's why Abdullah bin Mas'ud said that the jama'ah is one person so long as he is upon the truth and the jama'ah can be one person so long as he is upon the truth ya ikhwan 